Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Coach Steph Davis. Are you ready to take your body toning workouts to the next level? Welcome to RIPPED, the ultimate home workout series combining dumbbell and body weight exercises for a stronger, more athletic looking body. RIPPED has been built on the back of our channel members voting for the workouts they want to see next. Thank you to all the channel members who voted. You asked for it, so we're delivering dumbbell and body weight interval training workouts you can do at home the proper way. With RIPPED, we're focusing on using our channel members' favorite piece of equipment, dumbbells, as well as body weight, making this series perfect for those who want to get strong and lean at home with minimal equipment. Combining these two methods allows you to target various muscle groups and efficiently build strength and definition. During our RIPPED series, we'll bring you targeted workouts structured to make you stronger and help reduce your body fat in the shortest time possible. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the RIP series and do it in the order we release them. With RIPPED, you'll learn exercise combinations designed to build strength and muscle tone whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll explore proper form and technique to keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It is essential to make sure you have clear space around you free from any trip hazards. Have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between exercises to stay hydrated. As usual, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 onwards are available to all levels of membership, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now, let's get training. Your first exercise is a single arm squat. You can see we're using our left hand for this one and the head of the dumbbell is just resting on our shoulders. Our feet are parallel and we're dropping down trying to keep our shin bone as vertical as we can keep it. For your second exercise, let's switch and do the single arm squat using your other arm. And finally, to keep up that squat energy, let's work some goblet squats. Again, we're still looking for feet at shoulder width, dropping down nice and low, full range of motion, and keeping the dumbbell underneath your chin for the duration of the set.
your first exercise is a left side split squat. So this is basically like a lunge, but your feet don't move. So we're simply dropping down, keeping that front shin bone nice and vertical and getting that back knee close to the floor. Make sure your squat is lengthy enough. For your second exercise, we'll switch legs and do that split squat using your right leg instead. And then your final exercise, we're going to go into some reverse lunges. So make sure you finish up at the front. Alternate by pushing your opposite foot behind you and dropping into a nice lunge. Make sure you're coming up with a vertical posture. Your first exercise is a traditional sumo squat. We're using both dumbbells, making sure those heads are resting on our shoulders so that the dumbbell is easy to hold up. Your feet are positioned wide and your toes are 45 degrees. Let's try and get as low as you can get as far as the depth of the squat is concerned. Now, your second exercise is a commando squat. So you can see we're dropping down onto your knees and then standing up in a low squat position. Your final exercise is a squat where the calves raise. So starting with parallel feet, we're going with that goblet hold and then making sure that your elbows are reaching your thighs so that you know that your squats are deep enough.
Traditional dumbbell squat for this one. You can see we're using two dumbbells and one of the heads of the dumbbells are resting on our shoulders so that you can make it easier to hold it up in place. Make sure we get nice and deep with this one. As you drop down, try to maintain your posture. Try and keep it as vertical as you can keep it. For your second exercise, we're going to work some left leaning side squats. So your opposite knee always remains straight and your feet always remain parallel for this exercise. As you drop down, Lean forward so that you're getting that stretch in your sartorius, in the center of your thighs.
Your first exercise is a suitcase squat, holding the dumbbell with your left hand. So that's where all the pressure is. The right side is purely there for balance. So try to keep your body as central as you can keep it and try to maintain your posture. Keep it upright. For your second exercise, we'll do some right side suitcase squats. And your final exercise is going to be nice and difficult. We're going to get into a low squat and we're going to hit some pulses from there. So you've got to try and maintain your pulses for 30 seconds. Make sure your feet remain parallel and try to keep your upper body as upright as you can keep it. Your first exercise is a kettle grip squat. So make sure the dumbbells in your center, you're holding with one hand and you're going over it with your other hand. Again, make sure your feet are at shoulder width and make sure as you drop down, you're keeping your posture as upright as you can keep it. For your second exercise, we'll go into some air squats. So let's lose the dumbbell, but keep the motion of those squats going. Now you can increase the pace for this one because it's not weighted. Let's try to get a few more squats in there. And for your final exercise, we'll work some sumo pulses. So get down low on a sumo squat and hit some pulses. Your thighs are going to burn up nicely. And this is going to be a fantastic tone up exercise.
Your first exercise is a side leg raise using your left side. Now, you can see we're using the dumbbell to weigh the leg down and we're using our right hand pushing up against the wall to maintain our posture. For your second exercise, we'll do exactly the same thing with the right side. Make sure when you're kicking out, your ankle is leading the movement. So toes on both feet need to be facing forward throughout the entire exercise. Your final exercise in this superset is a sumo prance. So let's get down low on a sumo squat and it's like doing calves raises one leg at a time.
Your first exercise is a goblet sumo squat. Make sure your feet are nice and wide and your toes are pointing out 45 degrees and try to keep your upper body as upright as you can keep it throughout the whole exercise. Your second exercise is a wall sit. We want vertical shins and horizontal thighs and just lean back on that wall and hold your position there for the 30 seconds. We'll finish this exercise with a relatively simple one. We're doing some air squats. Keep your feet at shoulder width, drop down nice and low. You're unweighted this time around and let's try and go high pace on these squats. Your first exercise is a weighted wall sit. So make sure you square up so that your shins are vertical and your thighs are horizontal. Place the dumbbell for some additional resistance on your thigh. Keep your back nice and straight and maintain your position for the set. Then we'll lie down and work some left side leg raises. Again, weighted using the dumbbell. Make sure that your active leg remains straight and make sure you're leading with your ankles so that your toes are not flipping up. For the third exercise, we'll do exactly the same thing, but on the right side this time. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well done for completing today's ripped home workout and progressing through this series with us. If you enjoyed your workout today, then please give this video a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. This channel is all about building a healthier and fitter community together. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link to her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. We look forward to bringing you another ripped dumbbell interval training home workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.